Once the skin's been cleaned, I'm injecting into a regular grid pattern to cover the entire area as evenly as I can with a 30 gauge needle, which is quite fine. By pinching the fat between my fingers and then inserting the needle between those same fingers to make sure that I'm in the correct anatomical space or layer. If I feel comfortable with the depth, I don't always need to pinch before injecting. Depends on the patient and also your individual level of confidence and experience. There is such a thing as too much of this though, which some people struggle to understand because it can cause harm by destroying not just you know the fatty layer around nerves, but it can also cause tissue necrosis. To stop this, we don't want to inject closer than around two centimeters apart with about 0.1 mil on each injection point. Depending on the size of the area you're treating, this might mean you can use a max of around, say, two to three mil per session. The product I'm using here, the brand, is called Adipo Forte by BCN Institute. Over the years, I've tried most of the products available and occasionally I even just make my own formulation if needed by getting the raw ingredients together, mixing them, mixing them up. Patients that get a bad result don't necessarily get it because the wrong product was chosen, it's because they don't understand the treatment. For instance, I've had patients come in asking for one particular brand, even though the one I have with me is exactly the same ingredient list and there's literally no difference. They also think that you just inject it into somewhere and the fat disappears. That is not how it works. If you're active, like going to the gym regularly, then you might need say two or three sessions on average. If the most active you get is going for some walks now and again, then first of all, that's probably why there's fat build up you don't like. And second of all, you might need something like five to 10 sessions because this treatment is designed to break the fat down so that after it's broken down, the body can take it away. But in order to take it away, you've got to be active still and going for some walks is not that active in this scenario. That's why this is actually for people who are fit and healthy, but just have stubborn pockets of fat that just won't burn off, but everywhere else is toned. If you're still gonna insist on having it though, as someone that isn't active, even after watching this, then be prepared to spend more and more money for a result that will only come after many, many months because you need an average, say, four to six weeks between sessions to do it safely. And if you keep piling the weight and fat on in between those sessions, because all you do is walk a little bit, then you're just wasting money because you're never gonna get a result. And even if you do, it will last for only about a day until your next KFC.